now we are in the interesting part of our application where users should be able to send a message from this text box. Okay, so let's start and let's make the route first. So I'll make the post route. So let's make route and this will be the post route and I'll give this as stat conversations C O N B E R E S A T I N conversation and send message controller and give the name as stat C O N B E R S A T I N stat conversation okay so let's copy this method and let's go here and now we should start able to start a conversation between two user so public function so from now two users should able to chat with each other and here we write a message variable and we write a message and create and what we store so we have user we don't store now add id when communication begin we are not storing any add id because we are not displaying the uh, add information every time okay so now we don't store only first when they have a first chat then only we store the add id that's why we have a different route here now so user id and receiv -E receiver underscore id and receiver underscore id will receive this as a request and uh, this is by receiv -E receiver id so let's include the request here request request and let's use the auth here so huge auth eliminate support fastcat auth and here is the body so I'll use this as I'll get this as a request body body is the message okay and then we can return the response retu and return dollar message okay now let's go to so this is message fine now let's go here and let's uh, go to our text area first so let's go to the text area so this one is the text area uh, here we have the message body okay this one is the text area and we have the v model body so if you have not mentioned the v model as body please mention this as a v model as body v model body and i'll define this more body here b o d y body so make sure you uh, have written this uh, v model body okay in input type here so v model body and we have here model edge body and now here in the scene let's make the click event she has to get click dot prevent and we'll make uh, the function as start stat c o n b a r s a t i in conversation or start chatting or start chat or start messages whatever you like okay or let's write send message to make super simple send message m e s s a g send message now we'll make this we'll make the method send m e s s a g message and so let's give a lot and let's check whether we hit this method or not so refresh click any one of these send and we're getting okay message that's fine now we'll we'll post actions dot post we'll transfer this data to our endpoint which is the stat dash c o n b a r s a t n conversation start conversation and we'll pass the parameter like buddy which we get from this stat buddy because we have a b model buddy in the text area and uh, and we have a 
body here defined and that will be updated at every time and we can simply get pass this as a body okay and we need the receiver ID as well so RECEIB receiver ID I'm getting my endpoint as a receiver ID and this is the this dot selected user ID whenever a user I click this particular message a particular user ID user this one will store this user ID you can see we have stored this user ID selected user ID now we can pass that select user ID here and we can get this as selected user ID and then response res -E and it's response and what we do first thing is that this dot we have messages we'll push this push we'll push this response all the response response dot data it has message and we'll empty the body b o d y body okay so now let's try this refresh let's go here and let's give another one more time hit and it seems like nothing has happened here and if you go here nothing had and you can see one more time you can see one more time it's, it's going on if I try this but it was not updated live right so right test sign uh, it was sent here but it was not pushed here if you refresh here and if you go here we will get the test but it was not pushed the reason is that we are displaying here name as well you can see we are not displaying only the message we are displaying the name also so what we have to do is whenever we return the response we do have to load the user as well and we have here in message.php we have the user so we need to load the user information so along with the message i write a load okay and load and we can load the user us share user so now if you go and if you see in your con uh, in a network tab you will see obviously you will see the user as well user loading as well okay so uh, let me go here inspect and network tab refresh this let's go here and user let's give some hi and you can see this was pushed here and now you can see we're getting the users so we're getting the message so and we're getting the user so, so absolutely fine so again another message and you can see another message great